Now, if I could ask you about Jeff Mace over on the other side of the aisle. Uh, this is a character who in the comics was Captain America at one time. Um, what, would you be able to compare your version of, of Mace to the movie version of Cap? Like, have you thought about that? Like, how they're similar or perhaps different? Well, I know from what I googled, because Marvel doesn't really tell me much beyond the, the scripts that we get to read on a, on a sort of a weekly basis. I know that he, historically in the 40s Marvel comics, sort of looked up to Cap and, and sort of decided one day that he was going to um, become Captain America just because uh, Captain America wasn't around at that time. And also, you know, it was what, towards the end of the 40s, so post-war America was sort of obsessed with Captain America as this sort of patriotic icon, having just sort of come back from the World War II. So, um, yeah, I mean, he's, he's uh, he definitely, historically anyway, has, has links to Captain America, but how that's gonna manifest in the series is anyone's guess because these guys at S.H.I.E.L.D., these writers are very smart, but they also tend to sort of do their own spin on things, their own sort of modern contemporary spin on things. So I don't think it's going to be exactly like uh, the character from the comic books in the 40s, but it'll certainly have a very strong nod to them. Uh, what would you say about his relationship with Coulson? Like, uh, are they, like, we sc have only kind of gotten a taste of it so far, and I can't tell if they're friends or foes or frenemies or what the deal is. Well, I know from Mace's point of view um, that, you know, Coulson, we've already said that Coulson has uh, actually, he chose to step down from the directorship and wanted an inhuman in his place. So he got what he wanted, you know. Uh, he might not have got the exact person that he wanted, but I'm not sure that was his decision to make anyway, you know. Uh, the, the, you know, S.H.I.E.L.D. ultimately is, uh, those decisions are made by the government and, and, uh, and so on. So, you know, you kind of reap what you sow, I guess. Um, you know, he, he didn't want to be director and uh, he gave a few suggestions and, and this is what they came up with. So I think there's always going to be a little bit of friction between them. Um, because Jeffrey's like, uh, here I am, guys. You know, uh, what's uh, what's the problem? Right, yeah. <laughs> you know, there's a slight change of tone, and, and my approach is going to be slightly different. But why can't we just get along as a team here? And you know, Colson's always had his own way of doing things. So yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of conflict there for sure. And I know you, we can't get into spoilers, but uh, do you know how old he is? Like, could he potentially have been around back during World War II? Or I honestly don't know. I, I literally don't have the information, so I can't answer your question. Well, stay tuned for that, right? Well, thank you, thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Sorry, my hands all.